Hello everyone. In this video, we will start with the new chapter, Acid, Base and Salt. Acid is the term we commonly heard as toilet cleaner. Salt are important part of our meal. So this is how acids and salts are known to us. But in chemistry, they mean more than that. Let's start with acids. Simply defining acids, acids are those substances which are sour in taste. It turns blue litmus paper into red when acid is dropped on blue litmus paper. If we go in more details, acids are those substances which generate H plus ions when dissolved in water or we can say in aqueous solution. Also, H plus gets combined by H2O. It gives H3O plus ions, also known as hydronium ions. Here, we have few examples of acid. Here you can see sulfuric acid H2SO4, which is an important chemical substance, dissociate into its ions in water. Similarly, hydrochloric acid HCl dissociate into H plus and Cl minus. This is the acid which we use as toilet cleaner. Acids are found in sour fruits like oranges, grapes, as well as in soft drinks. Now, let's define bases. Bases are baking powder. It turns red litmus paper into blue. Chemically, we define base as the substances which generate hydroxide or OH- ions in the aqueous solution. Here are some common examples like sodium hydroxide which dissociate into sodium and hydroxide ions in aqueous solution. Bases are present in baking soda, neem and clove. So these are some day-to-day -day example of bases. Let's discuss some chemical reactions of acid and bases. Acid reaction with metal forms, metal salt, releases hydrogen gas. Salt is here a compound of metal. For example, zinc reacts with acid to form salt-zinc sulfate and releases hydrogen gas. Acid reacts with metal oxide to form salt and water. Sulfuric acid reacts with calcium oxide to form calcium sulfate, the salt and form hydrogen oxide. Acid react with base to form salt and water. Here, NaOH is the base which react with acid HCl. The products are common salt NaCl and water H2O. NaOH is the base which reacts with acid HCl. The product are common salt NaCl and water H2O. Acid react with metal carbonate and metal acid react with metal carbonate and metal bicarbonate to form metal, salt and water. Metal bicarbonates are also known as metal hydrogen carbonate. Here, sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3 and sodium carbonates, both reacting with acid HCl, give the same products, NaCl and evolution of carbon dioxide. The presence of carbon dioxide can be determined using lime water. When evolved carbon dioxide gas is passed through lime water, it turns milky due to formation of insoluble calcium carbonate. Here is the chemical equation for the reaction. The milkiness disappears. Excess of CO2 gas is passed. This is due to the formation of 
soluble calcium bicarbonate. Here are the chemical equation for the reaction. Bases react with few metals like zinc and aluminium to form metal zincate and metal aluminate. For example, zinc react with sodium hydroxide base to form sodium zincate and releases hydrogen gas. Bases react with non-basic oxide such as CO2 gas to form metal carbonate and water. Now let's discuss what we mean by strong acids and strong bases. Strong acids are acid which dissociate fully in H plus or H3O H3O plus ions. Hydrochloric acid HCl, sulfuric acid H2SO4, nitric acid HNO3 are the examples of strong acid. Weak acid dissociate partially in aqueous solution. Acetic acid Oxalic acids are example of weak acid. The concept of strong base and weak base is similar to strong acid and weak acid. Strong bases dissociate fully in aqueous solution into hydroxide OH- ions. Example, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Weak bases dissociate partially in aqueous solution. Ammonium chloride is, exa is example of such bases. pH scale is the measure of strength of acidity of acid and basicity of base. It is a scale measured from 0 to 14. If pH of a solution is between 0 to 7, the solution is acidic. If it is 7 to 14, solution is basic. If it is 7, solution is neutral. The acidity increase with decrease in pH value. pH of some day-to-day -day life example has been indicated here. pH is used as a standard unit for qualitative and quantitative analysis. It plays important role in our life. The pH of rainwater decreases when gases like sulfur are excited mixes with it. The rainwater becomes acidic and it is known as acid rain. It damages our skin, human body as well as plant function, their metabolism under certain pH. If pH of mouth lowers, it provides acidic medium for bacteria to decay our tooth. A toothpaste is a base which maintains the pH of mouth and prevent decay of tooth. The bee string is acidic which can be cured using mild base. Also, pH of stomach is lower due to acidic formation there which is known as acidity. pH of stomach is maintained by bases also known as antiacids like sodium biocarbonate. Now, we have discussed enough of acid and bases. Coming to salt. Salt. Salts as we know are formed by reaction of acid and base. Sodium chloride is a common salt that we consume. It is formed by reaction of strong acid hydrochloric acid and strong base sodium hydroxide such type of salt are known as neutral salt the salt formed by strong acids and weak base is known as acidic salt example is ammonium chloride i guess you can figure out that it is formed by strong hydrochloric acid and weak ammonium hydroxide you can guess Basic salt are formed by strong base, weak acid, for example, sodium acetate. Common salt is obtained from sea as well as from rocks 
and hence known as rock salt. It is a major part of our plate. Let's understand what chloroalkali process is. In this process, electricity is passed through aqueous solution of sodium chloride which is known as brine. The raw material obtained directly and indirectly from the process are very useful chemicals. These are list of some of them. Bleaching powder is a calcium oxyhydroxide formed by passing chlorine gas through slaked lime. It is used in textile industry for bleaching purpose, for cleaning water in water tank, also as an oxidizing agent. Baking soda NaHCO3 this is found by the following reaction. NaCl plus H2O plus NH3 plus CO2 will give NH4Cl plus NaHCO3. It is used to make crispy foods like pakoras. It is also used for fast cooking. On heating following reactions take places. 2Na SCO3 will give Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O. It is also used to make soft breads by forming baking powder. It, it with a mild acid such as tartaric acid reduces carbon dioxide which is used in softening breads. Following reaction take places during the process. NaHCO3 plus H plus will give CO2 plus H2O plus sodium salt of acid. It is having mild basic nature and therefore work as an ingredient for antacids. It is also used as soda acid fire extinguisher. Washing soda Na2CO3 dot 10H2O or sodium carbonate is formed by heating sodium bicarbonate. The recrystallization of sodium carbonate is done to obtain washing soda. That is represented by this equation. This equation Na2CO3 plus 10H2O will give Na2CO3 dot 10H2O. It is used in glass, soap and paper industries, manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax, removing permanent hardness of water and it is required for cleaning agent for domestic purposes. You must be thinking about 10H2O. It is the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt. For example, a crystalline blue copper sulfate is CuSO4 dot 5H2O. If it will be heated in a test tube, the water of crystallization will be removed from crystals. The sulfate turns to white, which is anhydrous copper sulfate. Now, we will discuss a very important chemical naming plaster of Paris or POP. Chemically, it is calcium sulfate, hemihydrate or CaSO4 dot 1 by 2 H2O. Gypsum, calcium sulfate dihydrate, CaSO4 dot 2 H2O is a hard solid mass. It is heated, it loses some water molecules and get converted into calcium sulfate hemihydrate CaSO4 dot 1 by 2 H2O. This equation represents the conversion of gypsum into POP. CaSO4 dot 2 H2O will give CaSO4 dot 
1 by 2 H2O. It is used to plaster the bone fracture, making of toys and decorative articles and for making smooth surfaces. So that's all for the chapter Acid, Base and Salt. Keep practicing and keep learning with study rankers. Thank you.